As Texas entered the 20th century, electricity powered the growth of major cities. But in rural Texas, families still cooked their meals over wood or coal fires and lit their home with oil lamps, much like they had for the past 100 years. That was about to change. The advent of electricity in Texas fundamentally changed the lives of people overnight. Public power has had a critical role to play in bringing electricity to Texas in the first place. Back before there was electricity, we were an extremely rural state, and it was expensive to bring power uh, to Texas. The municipalities said, no, we need to give all of our citizens the advantages of having power, and they took it upon themselves to do it. The elected officials and the citizens of that town ran it, no outside corporations. So it speaks to the pioneer spirit of Texas that small municipalities who weren't going to get power put their destiny in their own hands. So in 1891, you had one small town, Greenville, Texas, which created its own publicly owned utility. Today in Texas, you have 72. That same spirit pervaded the state. Energy is the lifeblood of a community. When you're a municipally owned utility, you are part of the community. We are neighbors. For the public power folks, uh, there's a sense of being part of their communities uh, that I think even adds to that feeling of, uh, we got an important job to do here that matters to people. And that sense of mission is really strong as you work with the people in public power. We serve in this community. We want to support not only the energy needs, but we support economic development, we support education, and in general believe that it's important for us to be a business owned by the community. Now we have small town values where neighbors help neighbors, neighbors look out for each other, and neighbors invest in each other to make sure that we're all uh, helping each other be the best that we can be. Louisville Creameries has been in business in Brenham, Texas since 1907. This facility was built in 1970 with the hopes that we would grow. As that happened, you need more power and our local provider has been so consistent and so reliable that it's been critical to our success. And it's these long-term partnerships between public power providers and private industry that are the foundation of a vibrant local economy. In the early 1920s is when we opened the first shop, which was the Dodge DeSoto business. And then years later, in 1930, 35, we opened the doors with Capital Chevrolet. And so Austin Energy has obviously been a huge partner with us the whole entire time that we've been in business. Now, now we see a city as large as San Antonio with a public power uh, entity, down to some of the smallest towns in Texas are supported by public power. And from ERCOT's perspective, uh, those public power utilities have been fully integrated into our systems from the very beginning. Uh, they play a critical role in providing transmission services, distribution services, generation, all the things that are needed to provide customer service to electric customers in Texas. We generate power and we have a very diversified portfolio of generation types. We transmit power, we're in the transmission business. We have a distribution system, we handle all of the, all of the delivery to every customer, business, school, and then we actually take care of customers through our re retail operations. We cover all of San Antonio and about 15% of our capacity goes out to the ERCOT market. And so we not only create stability for San Antonio, we help contribute to the stability of Texas. I think the biggest difference in a municipal and utility is that our decisions are made locally. We can take care of people and understand their local needs and respond accordingly. And people have an input not only in terms of who governs, but in terms of what they think a municipal utility should be doing to further invest in the community. And it's that local voice that leads to innovation at the state and national level. Austin Energy obviously uh, does listen to the people here in their community. It's zoned in on electric vehicles and how being more energy efficient, whether it's in your car, home or wherever you are. Having our own uh, electric utility uh, allows us uh, to be more creative, it allows us to be more responsive uh, to our community. You know, not only do we have to invest in the hardware, we have to invest in the human value. 
it's very important to us to know that the community that we serve is proud of what we do. We've seen a lot of development of new generation supported by uh, power purchase agreements with public power entities. As we add things like battery energy storage and other forms of storage onto the system that are both uh, demand and supply on the system. And I think you see public power involved in looking at, uh, uh, experimenting with, trying all those new sorts of technologies. That's the real Texas spirit. What are we going to do to improve our own lives? Not depending on anyone else, but Texans. For over a century, municipally owned utilities have powered Texas communities and enhanced standards of living. Public power utilities take pride in the community ownership model, reinvesting not only in the local electric system, but in shaping communities and improving quality of life through safely delivered, reliable, affordable energy supplies. Today, municipally owned utilities serve over 5 million Texans across 72 cities. TPPA members are energized for the future, embracing new technology and innovations while honoring the commitment of long-term, reliable, affordable electricity. Texas Public Power, powering strong communities.